All right, good Saturday afternoon, everyone. I'm recording this video about 12.20 in the after afternoon on Saturday. It is uh, April 15th, and we have severe weather chances coming into the area today. Like I've been highlighting the last few days, especially uh, there's a big, uh, strong uh, line of storms, cluster of storms going across the Gulf Coast this morning. Uh, there's already severe thunderstorm watch out down there. I'll show you that here in just a minute. But I've been highlighting this. If you've been watching my videos the last few days, that there's going to be a cluster of storms right along the Gulf Coast here through uh, basically starting in Texas, going through Louisiana this morning, and then into the afternoon hours, southeastern parts of Louisiana, through the rest of the Gulf Coast states, over towards the panhandle of Florida. Now, Across Arkansas, northern parts of Louisiana, and uh, basically the southeastern half of Missouri, there is an enhanced risk of severe thunderstorms today. Uh, scattered severe thunderstorms are expected uh, through tonight from the mid-Missouri Valley to the Gulf Coast. Uh, large hail and damaging winds will be the dominant hazards in terms of cover, uh, terms of the storm coverages. Hail up the size of baseballs or maybe even larger is possible as well. And a few tornadoes will be possible, uh, especially across parts of Missouri and Arkansas. Okay, so. Some of the cities here, enhanced risk, St. Louis, Missouri, Shreveport, Louisiana, Little Rock, Arkansas, Springfield, Missouri, St. Charles, Missouri, just some of the bigger towns here across this uh, enhanced risk area. The slight risk area goes from Houston, Texas, Memphis, Tennessee, New Orleans, Monroe, Louisiana, Baton Rouge, uh, Mobile, Alabama, uh, all under a slight risk of severe weather today. So let's go over the risk real quick. Here's a tornado risk. There's a 5% chance basically across uh, northern half of Arkansas in through southeastern half of Missouri and far southwestern parts of Illinois. 5% chance of seeing a tornado within a 25 miles uh, of any given point in that area. And the green is 2% chance. Now we're going into the, the more extreme risks here. We have um, actually... This has been upgraded since yesterday. We have a, a very significant risk here of, of damaging straight line winds. 70, possibly 80 miles per hour uh, straight line winds coming into parts of northern Arkansas and south central to southeastern parts of Missouri. This is including St. Louis as well. So keep, in, keep that in mind as well in these in this black hatched areas on the outside of this probably wind gusts of 60 uh 60 to 65 miles per hour is possible with some of these stronger storms uh, in the red and yellow okay so let's go to the hail risk big huge significant hail risk um this is greater than two inches in diameter is possible across the black hatched areas of northern parts uh, northwestern parts of louisiana northeastern texas most of Arkansas, and about the southern half of Missouri, okay? Now, we're going to go over future radar and the current watches, and there's a me new mesoscale um, discussion out uh, for parts of Missouri and Arkansas we're going to go over as well. Now, this is tomorrow's risk. This is Sunday's, uh, basically from uh, Michigan all the way down through all of Florida. Uh, marginal risk of storms uh, for, for Sunday. So severe thunderstorms associated with isolated damaging straight line winds and large hail will be possible in parts of the southeast and the Carolinas. Like I said, northward through the Appalachians all the way up towards Michigan for tomorrow. So stay weather aware in all these areas the next couple days. Now let's go over the latest watches. Now here is the latest watch out for the Gulf Coast. Like I've said there for the last couple days, you've been following my video. I, I expected a big um, complex of storms to be riding along this, this boundary, basically along the Gulf Coast states today. Lots of juicy Gulf moisture and then hitting this uh, boundary and then just constant thunderstorms across this area. So uh, severe thunderstorm watch for southeastern parts and eastern parts of Louisiana, south, southern parts of Mississippi, uh, over towards southern 
parts of Alabama as well. Isolate hail up to quarter size as possible. Scattered wind gusts of up to 70 miles per hour. And frequent lightning is possible in these areas. Some of the towns here, New Orleans, uh, Baton Rouge up to Hattiesburg, Gulfport, Mississippi, Mobile, uh, Gulf Shores, so if you're out, out and about in the beach today, you need to get, especially out east here towards Florida and stuff, you need to be weather aware because uh, these, these, this line of storms is going to be barreling east as we go throughout the day. This, like I said, this watch is in effect until 4 o'clock. This is the only watch that's, that is up at the moment as of 1225 in the afternoon. So a brand new mesoscale discussion out for Basically, St. Louis all the way down through southern Missouri and northern half of Arkansas. Uh, their expected thunderstorm development expected by uh, 19Z, which is going to be in the next couple hours here, uh, across southwestern Missouri, northwest Arkansas. And they think the storm in, uh, initial storm initiation will be across far east, northeastern parts of Oklahoma, far southeastern Kansas, most of southwest Missouri and northwest Arkansas. This is where storms will start getting their act together and start pressing east. Okay, so they're they're going to be uh, issuing a watch in the next couple hours. Uh, severe says severe potential watch is likely. Watch probability is ninety five percent. So be watching for this uh, this watch to come out. Probably I would say probably by one thirty or two o'clock. Um, as we expected, because we expected storms to start developing around two to f two to three to four o'clock in the afternoon, and then rapidly turn severe in this area, and then move east northeast as this line uh, gets its act together throughout this afternoon, rest of the afternoon, in through tonight across the area. So now let's look at future radar. All right, here is Future Radar, this latest HRRR here. Um, this is at 1 o'clock. It's just showing a few storms developing across southeastern parts of Missouri and through northeastern parts of Arkansas. A few, few isolated uh, showers, maybe a storm or out there. Starting to initialize some storms out here across uh, west central Missouri. And then here's that big cluster of storms down here uh, in parts of Louisiana. And then it's skirting this, skirting the Gulf Coast here, and then going towards Florida. So let's uh, timestamps right here. This is Central Time, so this is one o'clock. Here's two o'clock, three o'clock, and look at here. Th by three o'clock, we got storm development here across far eastern parts of Arkansas, or sorry, far eastern parts of Oklahoma and northwest Arkansas, southwest Missouri, central central Missouri. Uh, this if this could be Interesting, if this developed, this will be a supercell and it'll be all out by itself. So uh, if anything get out there by itself, well, you're going to have tornado potential as well. And then here's that big, big complex of storms right along the Gulf Coast. All right, so here's 4 o'clock, big time storms. Like I said, you go from 2 o'clock, you got nothing going on, and then you get to 4 o'clock and just massive amounts of... Uh, clusters of, of severe storms ongoing across uh, Missouri in through northwestern parts of Arkansas. So like I said, as soon as these storms develop, they're going to quickly turn severe across the area here. Um, and then some storms developing across Texas as we get to four or five o'clock. Now this is going to develop into a nice little complex of storms, uh, broken, li broken line of storms as we go through Arkansas, Missouri, Anything's going to be uh, some of these stronger storms could put uh, put down a tornado and some very large hail, uh, possibly in excess of baseballs uh, out there today across this area. Okay, so this is five o'clock, six o'clock, seven o'clock. Big line of storms by seven o'clock rolling rolling through eastern Missouri, uh, through central Arkansas, and they're starting to develop down here in Texas. And northeast, northwestern parts of Louisiana by seven o'clock. Get to eight o'clock, nine o'clock, nine o'clock. That's approaching the Mississippi River across Arkansas and Missouri. Uh, and then storm development still ongoing down here in Texas and Louisiana. 
And then as we get through 10, 10 o'clock, they get east of the Mississippi into Mississippi and uh, Tennessee, Western Tennessee into Western Kentucky as well. And uh, we go through 11, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock. Looks like some of these northern storms are going to die out. And, yes, this is snow on the back side of this low back here in southern uh, Minnesota in through Iowa as well. And then these storms are starting to really get going down here in Louisiana and Mississippi as we get through the early morning hours of tomorrow. This is 2, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. Heavy snow around Minneapolis possible um, at 4 o'clock in the morning tomorrow. So there is the latest. Uh, please stay weather aware. Have a way to get warnings. Um, if you, There's going to be a lot of people. I mean, it's a nice day out there across parts of the area. So a lot of people are going to be outdoors. Have a way to get warnings. Like I said, there's going to be a watch out in parts of the area. Uh, watch is already out across uh, the south uh, southeastern parts of Louisiana into Mississippi and Alabama. There's another watch going to come out here in Missouri and parts of Arkansas in the next few hours. I would I would expect between probably like one to two they're going to issue a watch and then we're going to start getting storm development around two and then it's really going to blow up between three to five p.m. and then. Get into a massive squall line and then press east as we go through the evening and overnight. Stay weather aware, have a way to get warnings, and have a plan in place in case a tornado warning is issued in your area. Interior room of your house, if you don't have a basement, the more walls between you and the outside, if possible, have a way to cover your head. Also, these huge hailstones that might fall in some of these larger storms. If you have a baseball coming out of the sky from 20, 30,000 feet up and it's going to hit you in the head, you will be knocked out. So you need to be stay weather aware, be aware of your surroundings, and if a storm is approaching, head to shelter immediately. Stay safe, everyone. I will have updates, uh, continuous updates on Facebook as well, along with watches, that any watches or new message scale discussions that come out. I will be posting those on Facebook shortly. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that thumbs up to like this video and subscribe on Facebook or subscribe on YouTube. It is free. And then hit all on notifications. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe out there today.